Kumusta po kayo? Welcome back to my channel, the channel that is dedicated in guiding you in your journey in learning the beautiful language, Tagalog, the language of the Philippines. In my last video, I talked about this video being the start of a new chapter. But I feel it wouldn't be right if we start a new chapter without reviewing what we have discussed in the last 18 weeks when we talked about Group 1 and Group 2 personal pronouns. So, let us review Group 1 and Group 2 personal pronouns focusing on sentence patterns that you can use in constructing your simple Tagalog sentences. So, tara, simulan na natin. Group 1 personal pronouns include ako, tayo, kami, ikaw, ka, kayo, siya, sila. If you wish to re-watch videos on Group 1 personal pronouns, you can check out episodes 21 to 24. Simply go into my playlist and check out the videos labeled personal pronouns. Group 2 personal pronouns, on the other hand, include ko, natin, namin, mo, ninyo, niya, nila. If you wish to replay videos on group 2 personal pronouns, you can check out episodes 25 to 39. You can find them in the playlist labeled personal pronouns. Group 1 personal pronouns are used in direct sentences where the subject or the doer or the actor is the main focus of the sentence. Our patterns are, for formal speech, the pattern is, for casual speech, the pattern is, Let's try these examples. Ako ay Pilipino. Pilipino ako. I am Filipino. Tayo ay mga Pilipino. Mga Pilipino tayo. We are Filipinos. Kami ay sina Peter at Marie. Sina Peter at Marie kami. We are Peter and Marie. Ikaw ay si Ariana. Si Ariana ka. You are Ariana. Kayo ay sina Ariana at Marie. Sina Ariana at Marie kayo. You are Ariana and Marie. Siya ay matangkad. Matangkad siya. He is tall. Sila ay matatangkad. Matatangkad sila. They are tall. Remember our lesson in converting adjectives in the plural form? Ako ay naglilinis. Naglilinis ako. I am cleaning. Ikaw ay nagtatanim. Nagtatanim ka. You are planting. See how ka is used in the casual form and not ikaw? Group 1 pronouns are used in sentences that are actor-focused, where the subject of that sentence or the actor is the focus of that sentence. This is a good time to segue into group 2 personal pronouns because group 2 personal pronouns are used in sentences that are object-focused. Here, the object of the sentence is the focus of that sentence and not the subject. Here are sentence patterns that are both actor-focused, which use group 1 personal pronouns, and object-focused, which use group 2 personal pronouns. For an actor-focused sentence, our pattern is For an object focus sentence, the pattern is All the following examples mean the same in English. Naglilinis ako ng bahay. Nililinis ko ang bahay. I am cleaning the house. Nagluluto tayo ng gulay. Niluluto natin ang gulay. We are cooking vegetable. Nagwawalis kami ng sahig. We now walis namin ang sahig. We are sweeping the floor. Nagtatanim ka ng halaman. Tinatanim mo ang halaman. You are planting. Kumakain kayo ng tinapay. Kinakain ninyo ang tinapay. You are eating bread. Nagpapaandar siya ng kotse. Pinapaandar niya ang kotse. He or she is moving the car. Kumakanta sila ng pambansang awit. Kinakanta nila ang pambansang awit. They are singing the national anthem. 
Now let's dive in deeper into group 2 pronouns which have more uses. We will discuss each by presenting sentence patterns that go with each use. Group 2 pronouns are also used as possessive pronouns expressing one's ownership of something. Our patterns are for formal speech, for casual speech, for example, Ito ay ang lapis ko. Lapis ko ito. This is my pencil. Ito ay ang mga gamit natin. Mga gamit natin ito. These are our things, including the listener. Ito ay ang bahay namin. Bahay namin ito. This is our house, excluding the listener. Ito ay ang opinion mo. Opinion mo ito. This is your opinion. Iyan ay ang saloobin ninyo. Saloobin ninyo iyan. That is your feeling. Plural pronoun. Ito ay ang pera niya. Pera niya ito. This is his or her money. Ito ay ang mga alahas nila. Mga alahas nila ito. These are their jewelries. The next use of group 2 pronouns is when talking about oneself. There are four conditions when this can happen. The first condition is expressing one's feelings. Our pattern for this is, let's try. Mahal ko ikaw. I love you. Gusto natin siya. We like him or her. Kailangan namin si Peter. We need Peter. Ayaw mo sa kanya. You don't like him or her. Mahal ninyo ang tatay. You love father. Gusto niya si Marie. He or she likes Marie. Kailangan nila sina Peter at June. They need Peter and June. The second condition is when expressing a desire. Our sentence pattern is... Let's try. Gusto kong kumain. I like or I want to eat. Kailangan nating mag-ingat. We need to take care. Ayaw naming maglaro. We don't like or we don't want to play. Gusto mong umuwi. You like or you want to go home. Kailangan ninyong tumulong. You need to help. Ayaw niyang mahiga. He or she doesn't like to lie down. Gusto nilang manood. They like or they want to watch. The third condition is when expressing the ability to do something. Our pattern is, let's try. Kaya ko. I can. Kaya natin. We can. Including the listener. Kaya namin. We can. Excluding the listener. Kaya mo. You can. Kaya ninyo. You can. Plural subject. Kaya niya. He or she can. Kaya nila. They can. The fourth condition is when expressing awareness of something or someone. Here we have two keywords, alam, to know something or the existence of something, which is the same as the Spanish saber. Kilala, to know someone or the identity of someone, which is the same as the Spanish conocer. Our sentence pattern is, the second pattern is, let's try both patterns. Alam kong matalino ka. I know that you are smart. Alam nating darating siya. We know that he or she is coming. Alam naming nasa bahay ka. We know that you are home. Alam mong may sakit ako. You know that I am sick. Alam ninyong galit siya. You know that he or she is mad. Alam niyang masaya ako. He or she knows that I am happy. Alam nilang narito ka. They know that you are here. Kilala ko ikaw. I know you. Kilala natin sila. We know them. Kilala namin si Peter. We know Peter. Kilala mo sina Marie at Ariana. You know Marie and Ariana. Kilala ninyo ang boss namin. You know our boss. Kilala niya ang mga magulang namin. He or she knows our parents. Kilala nila kami. They know us. Group 2 pronouns are also used with temporal adverbs. Our pattern is, for example, kahapon ko nabalitaan. I heard yesterday. 
Kanina natin nakita, we saw a while ago. Ngayon namin hahanapin. We will find today or now. Bukas mo iisipin. You will think about something tomorrow. Sa isang araw ninyo pupuntahan. You will go the next day. Sa isang linggo niya bibilhin. He or she will buy next week. Sa isang taon nila gagawin. They will do something next year. Group 2 personal pronouns are also used with prepositions or words that convey location. Our pattern is, let's try. Nasa tabi ko, next to me. Nasa harap natin, in front of us. Nasa tapat namin, across us. Nasa likod mo, behind you. Nasa gitna ninyo, in between you. Nasa kanan niya, to his or her right. Nasa kaliwa nila, to their left. The next use of group to personal pronouns is as a part of a question. Our sentence pattern is, For example, Kanino ko ipapakita ito? Whom shall I show this? Kanino natin ibibigay ang regalo? Whom shall we give the gift? Saan namin ilalagay iyan? Where do we put that? Kailan mo isasauli ang libro? When will you return the book? Bakit ninyo sinara ang computer? Why did you turn off the computer? Paano niya tatapusin ito? How will he or she finish this? Magkano nila ibebenta ito? How much will they sell this? Group 2 personal pronouns are also used in imperative sentences. Our sentence pattern is... Here goes. Alisin mo ang kalat. Take out the mess. Ilagay mo iyan dito. Put that here. Buksan ninyo ang pinto. Open the door. Gandahan ninyo ang drawing. Make the drawing pretty. Galingan ninyo magsayaw. Dance well. The last use of group to personal pronouns are in exclamatory sentences. Our sentence pattern is... Let's try. Ang ganda ko. I'm so beautiful. Ang tanga natin. We're such idiots. Ang galing namin. We're so good. Ang payat mo. You're so thin. Ang bagal ninyo. You're so slow. Ang bilis niya. He or she is so fast. Ang bango nila. They smell so good. There, we have just discussed all the sentence patterns in group 1 and group 2 personal pronouns that we have discussed in the last 18 videos. In my next video, we will definitely begin a new chapter, and that is Group 3 Personal Pronouns. I hope you don't miss that. I will see you soon. Maraming salamat at hanggang sa susunod.